Hi, I'm Zoe and I'm lab manager here at Candle Shack. Summer is just around the corner and here at Candle Shack we are thinking about diffusers. The process of making a diffuser is relatively simple, but you do need to ensure that you do test them. Today we'll show you how to create and test your diffusers at home. If you find this video useful, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel to see our future videos. To make a diffuser, you will need your chosen fragrance oil, a diffuser base, a diffuser bottle, a cap and reeds. It sounds simple, doesn't it? But the choices you make can affect the performance of your diffuser. Let's start with the diffuser base. We have two bases we use at Candle Shack, Ogeo and Ecosystem Vegan Friendly Diffuser Base. Whether you use Ogeo or Ecosystem Vegan Friendly Diffuser Base, the CLP will remain the same. Moving on to reeds. We have two different types of reeds here at Candle Shack. For the best diffuser performance, we would recommend to use fibre reeds. These are made from a synthetic material and designed specifically for use in reed diffusers. However, if you're looking for a more sustainable diffuser, then rattan reeds may be your better choice. Rattan reeds are natural products, but generally won't perform as well as fibre reeds. So how many reeds should you use? For a 100ml bottle, we typically use 8 long reeds. For a 165ml bottle, we typically use 6 short reeds. You can use as many reeds as you like, but remember the performance of your diffuser will vary. To make sure your diffusers meet legal requirements, you should refer to the IFRA Certificate of Conformity for your chosen fragrance oil. This can be found on the web page for each of our fragrance oils. If you refer to Annex 1 of the IFRA Certificate, you will see that the reed diffusers are classified as IFRA Category 10A. If you refer to the table on the front page of the IFRA Certificate, you will find the maximum permitted level of that fragrance oil in a reed diffuser. For example, the IFRA certificate for fairy dust tells us that it can be safely used in a diffuser at up to 40%. So if you want to make a diffuser at 15%, then this will be fine. Testing is an important part of any product development and diffusers are no exception. Here at Candle Shack, we go through a lengthy process of testing our diffusers. This is done over a period of 12 to 13 weeks. After making your diffuser, insert your reeds and weigh it. Ensure that you weigh it at the same time every week to get your rate of diffusion. Here we have an example of a diffuser that is performing well. You can see that over time the diffuser has evaporated fully. Here we have an example of a poor performing diffuser. After a while the graph levels off as our diffuser is no longer evaporating. We have found that the ideal life for your diffuser will be between 6 to 8 weeks. However, your diffuser may last up to 12 weeks. You may find that your diffuser reads get blocked. This means that your graph can start to level off after a few weeks. If this happens, play around with percentages and read amounts. Once you're happy with your final product, it's time to label and sell your diffusers. Use our free CLP design tool to create your labels. These can be added to your bottle and your packaging for UK and EU regulations. This will ensure that you're making a legally compliant product. We hope you found this video informative. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments and we'll be happy to help.